Hello everybody and welcome to the shop. Ten more minutes. Done Chief Building Action. Brought to you in prime time. Philovision without the drama. Okay guys, check this out. I have got this element or my stabilizer full kit glued in. Got it bolted in. Man, it's good to go. I think it's solid. It ain't go nowhere, man. Come came out just awesome. Awesome. Elevators, all good to go. All good. To, I just got to get in there and mark them with the old Sharpie where to cut them. Because they're too long, these shafts right here. I got to cut them off, so I got to mark them. Came in here and it was some more carbon. This is two layers. I put two layers up here and let it go down, then two layers down there and let it come up. So actually right along this seam, it's four layers. Okay, what was happening? When I was putting these wings on, it was kind of pushing that in a little bit and getting a little buckle right here. And you know, they would wobble. So that's why I made that bulkhead that goes all the way up now. We got some carbon reinforcement. That's not going nowhere. Now, next time when I do this, I'll just lay in that carbon when I'm uh, laying up a few slots. Because now I know uh, where to put the carbon. You know, you, you learn more and more as you go, you know. Still got to build me a little box. I'm going to do that after I get these elevators done. Oh, got to show you got some stuff. Oh yeah, dang, UPS guy showed up today, check this out. This will be like the brakes, and this one will be like uh, the gear. Got another air check today. Got my shit from Monica. Airline. Quick disconnects for the wings. Okay. Is that all that showed up today? Oh, no, 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 no. That ain't all that showed up. Look at, look at that. Oh yeah, it's a big old roll of carbon. That showed up today. Now I'm still lacking my peel ply to lay up the other wing, but it'll be here in a day or two. Probably here Monday, Tuesday. So, but right now, I've got to take out these elevator mechanisms so I can mount servos in them but I ain't got what is the dang obvious store today forgot to get 440 volts or not yeah so I can't mount the servos in because I ain't got enough 440 volts
I am. There's my mark where to cut it off. Chopiola. Yeah, that's just made out of off-the-shelf PVC stuff, but someone sewed that pleather. You see that pleather right there? That kind of holds it together. It's a little stand, and I think someone and uh, that's bent right there. I think they just heated up that PVC, but everything else is off the shelf. That is pretty cool. I'd like to have Dad make up some metal ones. Maybe as soon as he gets caught up on some gear, we can take some conduit and that can bend that stuff and make some cool ones. That's probably what we need to do. But for now, I got to get these fields out to here. Find the screws. Centering pin back in. Trim that shaft. Put a slice in that shaft this way to alignment on this bolt I'm going to put in there. That'll be the keep it from twisting inside there, you know. Mount my servo. Hook up my linkage. Bolt her back in there. Sounds like a plan. Looks dang. We'll have to get that on the next episode of Bob TV. That's right. We'll see you back at the shop, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll make some more videos tomorrow. And uh, we'll be back. Same Bob time. <laughs>